This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 13, Other Forms of Input, Part 6. What if my condition isn't true? So that's obviously refer <laughs> referencing conditionals, right? Those if statements where we check if something's true and run the code inside. Let's see here. Let me actually, right off the bat, or right off, yeah. Let's see if this does anything. Ooh, we have our gears again. Ooh, do they run? Not yet. I bet we're going to make them run. All right. So, reset that. Sometimes we want to tell our program what to do if a condition is true, but also what to do if it's false. Pressing the plus sign at the bottom of your condition. Plus sign. Ooh. And by condition, they mean if statement. That's a conditional. Ooh, fancy. Can we do... Ooh, we can do a bunch of them. Oh else if and then an L. interesting all right i'm gonna get rid of those let's see what it says uh pressing the plus block at the bottom of your conditional block will give you another s section called else this section will be run whenever the code in the if whenever the condition in the if before it is false yep else Ooh, else if okay so Whenever everything in here, so if we are not pressing the space key, we can add some code what to do if it's false. Do this. The gears are back again. Yep, they are. Hmm, grid, no. The gears are back again. The last time you worked with them, you made them spin when the space bar is pressed. Instead of the gears only spinning when the space key is pressed, we want them to spin one way when the space key is pressed, and spin the other way when it's not pressed. Ooh, fancy. Click the plus sign at the bottom of the if block to add an else. Check. Add a comment to make the add oh add commands to make the gears spin in the opposite of the direction that they do when the space bar is pressed. Okay, I'm gonna shrink this up. Do they give us any other hints here? Nope. All right. So let's see what we have. Blue gear rotation equals, so when the space key is pressed, our blue gear sprite, which we created up here, I'm just going to attach these just for easy to readness. Uh, that way I can get more on this screen. Oh, let me show the text because then I'm just going to delete this space. Bye space. That way I can see more of it at the same time since I'm zoomed in. Okay. You can go away too. And you can too. All right. So function blue gear we create here and we set the animation. Same here. We create the variable green, recreate the variable red. And then our function draw. Remember a draw function is run constantly. So I think it's 30 times a second. It is constant. So what happens when I hit run is our gears are created. It then draws them. It hits the bottom of this, goes back to the top blinks the screen and draws them again. That way, if they're moving, this all happens before the eye can even see it, uh, it will move without leaving kind of a smear of the old location. So this if statement checks if this is true. Oh, and they still rotate. Uh, it checks if it's true, and then if it is true, it runs the code inside of it. So I bet if we're adding one to ge blue gear dot rotation, which is the property, right? Think of it as a variable for the blue gear. If we're subtracting one from it, the rotation, I bet if we add one, it will spin the other way. So let's go ahead and look in variables for our equal sign. We're going to need one, two, and I bet three of these guys. And then let's do just like we did here. Sprite, sprite, nope, not x, sprite dot rotation, drop in that. And I think I'm going to need this here again and this yeah, no, I, ah. I'm going to hit control Z to undo because I messed up. Not uncommon for me. Alrighty, and then math, and I'm going to do the exact same thing except flip it. So if I'm subtracting from the blue gear, let's add down here. If I'm adding to the green gear, let's subtract down here. If I'm adding to the red gear, let's subtract. Now I need to go back to sprites, grab our rotation, right? Because we're taking the rotation and we're saying, hey, equal whatever your rotation last equaled, but add one to that and then redraw it. So sprite 
rotation, sprite, rotation, sprite, rotation. Okay, I'm going to shrink this a bit to make sure I can see all of that. And I'm going to add one. I'm going to subtract one. I'm going to subtract one. Now I need to change sprite. We don't have sprites. We have variables called blue gear, green gear, red gear. So blue gear, green gear, and red gear. I need the exact same thing over here because we're telling the computer equal the exact thing that you used to, right? Take the exact, that number that you used to equal, add one to it, and set that as the new number for the blue gear dot rotation or the green gear dot rotation or the red gear. All right. And the great thing about code is you can be wrong a lot and you can debug it. So let's test out what we have thus far. Okay. So now it's spinning that way. I'm going to hit plus. Oh, did it flip? Let's double check. Did every gear start moving the other way? And they did. Let me just double check our instructions. Click the plus button. Yep. Add commands to make the gear spin opposite of the direction they do when the space bar is pressed. So when the space bar is not pressed, they spin that way. When I'm pressing it right now, they spin the other. Awesome. This is the code then that worked for me. Great, let's keep going.